de Groot. The important thing of Limes de Groot was that it made the point that the world is so small that humanity cannot plan to increase population and economic activity on this little planet forever. The world population will grow much more slowly than most people think and that the world GDP will grow much slower than most people think. So that in 2050 the world economy will be of the order of twice the current economy uh, as opposed to four times the current economy which most analysts expect. The human being is not fundamentally stupid but it's fundamentally short term. So it, we are, we have evolved as a species, you know, we have evolved uh, with great success because of our ability to react quickly to imminent danger. But we are very bad at sacrificing today in order to get the benefit 60 years down the line. And so the short term nature which has, of man, which has brought us where we are, is as I see it, the main stumbling block now. I will indicate to you what are ways to modify uh, democratic society so that one could have, get away from myopia. But let me start by saying that I don't think man is going to decide to do so. And that's of course the basic assumption behind uh, my forecast in 2052. The current world is highly unsustainable in the sense that we cannot continue behaving the way we currently behave for generations without a problem. We will of course not continue behaving exactly as we currently do. We will change slightly in the response to the crisis that occur. And my forecast is that that response is sufficiently strong that we will avoid resource problems, water problems, food problems, you know, over the next 40 years, but we will not avoid the climate problem. It could easily have been avoided if we decided to do so, but we will not decide to do so. And consequently, our grandchildren will uh, live in a highly climate damaged world, which is very different from the world that we currently have. What I think will happen in this century is scenario number two from the Limits to Growth study in 1972, which was called pollution crisis. And it is basically a forced lowering of the material standard of living in the second half of the, the century as a consequence of, of climate uh, damage. But whether people who live there will say that they're living in an apocalyptic world or not. I am not so sure because as opposed to 40 years ago, I now believe that man is so adaptable that, that it only takes like 20 years before they're used to their new uh, environment. I thought as a young person that that was avoidable, that you could jumpstart society to react quickly. I know I'm totally convinced that the institutional delays, response delays, are humongous and unavoidable, which of course makes overshoot much more likely and also makes the recovery after crisis much more time consuming than, than I thought 40 years ago. No, I'm certainly not saying that it's game over for humanity, but if one wants to be gloomy about it, it's game over for Jorgen. For the people of my type who, you know, grew up in the wonderful world that did exist, you know, in North Europe and, and North America for that matter, you know, 40 or 50 and 60 years ago. I think that we will solve in the end, you know, poverty problems and basic uh, lack of income problems. It will not happen as fast as most people think. Uh, I think there will be roughly as many poor people in 2050 as there are now because of lacking uh, economic and institutional development in the poorest part of the world. Uh, and of course people will have the additional problem of a damaged climate, you know, in the second half of the, the century. Uh, I think that is 
totally wrong thinking, and, and, uh, but very common thinking. So you will find many more people supporting this idea that slower population growth is dangerous than you find people like I who think slower population growth is a tremendous asset. I've been working for sustainable development for 40 years. It's very hard to think of anything else that I would like more to do than working for this lost cause. Mm -hmm.